Oh, hey! Where'd you find this truck? <laughs> I just thought this was 300 bucks. Damn! I think she's worth quite a bit more than 300 bucks. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy it. He's just, the buttons is really nice. Are you sure? We're gonna find out. Just don't hit the planes. Well, we gotta go over this black strip so I don't piss anybody off. Yep, all right, let's and do it. Let Zach behind the wheel. See what's happening. Hey, good morning. We're uh, here in Blyville, Arkansas, heading back to the uh, ECTA standing mile race that's uh, going on, or abandoned military base right up the road. But while we were cruising up, we decided to stop in, uh, in the town here and check some stuff out. And we're in a building right now that... Uh, yeah. So it's uh, not ideal race conditions, especially for high speed and tarmac. So it's a little bit hazy right now, raining, and um, you know it's, it's going to take a while for the track to clear out, but we've got some pretty cool opportunities today. Uh, hopefully everything clears up. I should be able to hop in a car and try myself in a rookie class to get my license through ECTA. I really am interested in it. I want to go over 150 mile an hour. Might as well try it out. We're here, and I really would like to do it. So. Pulling up. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a few more people here. There's a, quite a few more. Everybody's waiting, but hopefully it clears up and we can get out and start ripping some speed. Hell yeah. So we hopped in just in time to get to a driver's meeting. We're gonna drive over there because my ankle's still a little screwed up. Don't wanna walk that far. filling out his paperwork because he is going to be uh, attempting to get his license today. So first I got to do half mile then uh, got to let them know about where I know the markers are for half mile, three quarter, and mile and then we'll make a full pull. Uh, Paul was nice enough to lend me the Hellcat <laughs> so so it's going to be a pretty quick one. Oh yeah. So Dan's getting the Hellcat. That dude was clicking off 180 like consistently all day yesterday. He probably did for 180. He's at 170 something right now. He's shooting for 180. Well, I said that wrong then. Well, as you can see, uh, conditions are not good. It just started pouring down rain here, so they had to call the track. Probably better to play it safe at this uh, at this level. So uh, we're gonna go get some food. Hopefully, the rain clears up. If it does, it'll start running again. So the rain has uh, is stopped, but it's still just soaking wet here at the track, as you can see. So we gotta wait for some big puddles to clear up. While we were driving in, though, saw this sick looking OBS uh, Chevy. What's going on, brother? What you doing, man? What up? Up top. Up top. What's your name, man? My name is Arnie Gonzalez. 
I'm the owner of this infamous truck called Red X. Red X is a 1990 Chevrolet C1500, also known as the GMT 400. Well, hell yeah, man. Like, walk us through this, because I saw this thing pulling up, man, and it, it looks like it's a truck built to not do truck stuff. Well, I can still go to Lowe's. I can still go to Lowe's and get some wood back there. Um, this is an original 350 Sport. That's the thing I should have probably let off with that. Oh. It's still original 350. Sport. It was purchased as a manual stick vehicle, and um, so I've kept it stick. So it was kind of rare to find a 350 Sport V8 stick. So this now has an LS motor, which I guess I'll pop the hood now. Yeah, but all right, all right, let's pop the hood here. So now what we have in here is the LS motor, 5.3 based, but on top of that, we used 243 heads, which I ported the heads out a little bit, and we got a set of headers. But of course, I think the part that you liked that it was, uh, it's carbureted. It's a Holly 750. Okay. Carbureted. And you got that double pumper in there, man? Got that Holly double pumper inside <laughs> Oh, there. shit. And, uh, and she gets the job done. I, I love the setup. Very simple. Uh, I don't got to worry about, you know, using a laptop or nothing. I can just fine tune it, you know, and, and that's it. So nice, simple, you know, easy build. You can find all this stuff. Like you find the 5.3 in a junkyard everywhere, yes. 500 bucks all day. Yes. Let's fire this thing up, man. Let's hear it, dude. My favorite part is this tack and shift light. You got that, What? how much you say you paid for that? That is from Glow Shift, and I want to say they retail for like 52, 56 bucks. Oh. That's awesome, man. Well, it's got adequate chop. You think we can go boogie with this thing over there a little bit? Absolutely, I mean, if, if you're gonna build something like this, you got you got a rump on it. All right, well, here, let's, let's go play. Let's see what this truck do. First run of the day. All right, let's do it. Rain is gone. The usual. Yep. <laughs> Big pass. Hoping for a fast one. Yeah. There you go. We're about to do hopefully the fastest. Well, good luck. All right, man. I'm gonna get out of here and let you do your job. All right, thanks <laughs> for coming with. Big Red is fired up. We're fired up. It's looking real good right now. Let's see what goes down. That thing is loud. It's gonna be real loud here in a second. It took off really fast, it sounded all good until the end. It sounded like a big over rev. Head back there, hopefully, nothing's wrong. All right, so here's what happened I just got word basically, is it 203 and a half mile already? But uh, unfortunately, the car wouldn't go into fourth, so we're gonna go and uh, diagnose everything, see what happens. You mind, you mind if I get a little update from you? Kind of what's going on? It looks like he's trying to shift into fourth and it's not going into gear. He 
you know, we're trying to decide if the trend is bad or linkage adjustment or something. Oh, the trend doesn't seem to be bad. In the meantime, Dan is going to go and try to get his license in that. Hell yeah. It's Paul here. Paul, what's going on? How you doing? Hey man, we appreciate you letting us do this. Not a problem. Paul's been ripping 170s all day. 175, I think was the last Yep, one. 175. But you, you've gone faster than this before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, 181 is my 181. Time, so. That's booking, man. Hell yeah. So. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get Dan suited up and uh, see what he can do in this Hellcat. It's a Hellcat Red Eye, right? Correct. The king of the quarter mile with a time of 10.80 seconds. This muscle car is armed with the most powerful production V8 engine. For those seeking sinister strength, look no further. The power of the Hellcat Red Eye is anything but an illusion. To deliver this kind of modern performance, it takes a lineage of legends. Devised to dominate with 797 horsepower from a 6.2 liter supercharged high output HEMI V8 engine, this ride embodies high energy. What's the difference between a Hellcat and a Hellcat Red Eye? 797 horsepower on this versus 717 on the new regular Hellcat. Okay, sounds good. Beefed 80. up. <laughs> Beefed up, all right, deal. Damn, 800 horsepower, stock. This is the number when you are in the car. Okay, I'm post a note. <laughs> all right. All right, man. First, uh, do the half mile, tap the brakes, coast off. Then um, three quarter, tap the brakes, coast off. So we got three runs. Three runs. All right, we'll see you. Just give it hell all the way through. All right, he's in the starter box, and I'll get it away, I'll get it away. How fast did you just go? 146 and a half. All right then, that's good. Yeah, for the first launch. Okay. I'll go a harder launch. All right, well, we'll see you back there. All right, so Dan has done his half mile test, and now he is up for his three quarter mile. So that was a three quarter. I think next up is a mile. Hell yeah. What was that? 149 and a half on that one. Hopefully, uh, I think to be on par with what Paul's running, he was 150 and a half, so I'm a mile per hour off. I think I know where I can pick that up, and then we're running full mile. Hell yeah. All right, here we go, Dan is in motion. So, old Danger Dan just went through the trap at 175, so that's all good. Well, Dan, did 175. Man, it's crazy, because like the first one, I was a little upset because I had a little wheel spin. I was like, shit, it's all in the first 60 feet. Everything about this is all in the first 60 feet for yeah. that car. God, this is <laughs> as stock as you can get it. Freaking rips, man. Yeah. That's a Good car, that's fun. Well, congratulations. We grabbed my time slip so I have something to hang on to. I'm pretty stoked about it. Hell yeah, slip out of them booties. Well, Paul, thank you, man. That was so much fun. Not a problem. And well, we were pretty close to each other on there. You know, the car's consistent. Yeah, definitely. So the bug bit me. <laughs> you know, this this is really fun. I, I had a blast, and this car is just insane. Good. So Glad much fun. It's a great but, event. I hope people see it, come out, and you know, yeah, visit it again. We like like doing it. Thank you for the opportunity, man. Not really a problem. appreciate it. All right, thanks. Yep. So we just got back to the pits. 
We're gonna try to figure out what the hell happened. I'm gonna walk us through kind of what went down because you looked like you were cooking. Yeah, it felt like a really good run. Um, you know, first, second, third, we got it up into fourth, and um, I was thinking, ooh, this will be a good run. And the engine let go, and it's just part of the race, and sometimes that happens, you know. And uh, we do have a backup. Uh, these guys may want to swap it. I hope they do. I'd love to run again. Just have to see what these guys are willing to deal with because it's the type of thing that, you know, they'll probably be up most of the night changing it if I want to go racing tomorrow morning. That's racing. That's that racing. That is racing. That's racing. Well, hey, man, you did, you did red, and you know what? We hope to see you get another run. If yeah. not, we'll buy you a couple beers. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so, guys. Expect to see us out there. I think we will be. Right on, man. Because I got the best crew around, and they rarely let me down. Well, with the motor blown, uh, we got a little bit of downtime, and obviously our day ended a little bit early. So, uh, luckily, we are in the beautiful, great state of Arkansas. Our day is not ended. Well, our day isn't ended. And we're getting to do some fun stuff. We had a nice gentleman bring out some uh, custom firearms that he made, and um, he's let him test us out. Oh, RJ. <laughs> I think RJ's done this before. That's smoke in my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna go get shots of the car. No one here. shoot me. Oh, Alright, so we're done here. Had our fun, shot some guns. It was just a good day, all in all. It was. Race team's gonna swap that new engine in the car overnight, and uh, hopefully tomorrow they can click off that. Um, 250 or plus. That's 250 right. plus is what we're looking for. Hell yeah. Good day. Good day. Love the South. That's right, goddammit. All right, Sunday. We're here back at the track, and it looks like the boys from Big Red have the new engine in. Dan, what are your thoughts? Doesn't look like anything changed. <laughs> that's and oh. there it is. Well, that's a good sign, right? So they work, work through the night. I mean, that's not an easy job at all. Hopefully, we get a good Cinderella story today and get a uh, get a couple good passes out. Oh, buddy, that's not good. Hey, Dan, come take a look at this. Oh, boy, yeah, that's that's done. Yeah, buddy. Alright, they're, they're about to roll. Dan and I are up in this uh... race tower. Yeah. Go. Oh, forward. it's going. She's up! Pretty close. 243.3. 243. And that's his first run. First yeah. run. I thought he was going to take it easy. <laughs> that was taking Damn. it easy. Cool. Alright, how's the new setup feeling, sir? Pretty darn near full out. We did 243. Uh, but something, something popped at the end. It wasn't engine related. Uh, the way I ran that, I was kind of expecting another five ten mile an hour actually so i think that mechanical pop i heard at the end may have cost me some time now the whole team they're diving into the race pack right now they're looking over all the all the key components and uh probably in the next 10 15 minutes i'll hear what happened i have no doubt they'll figure it out get it back together and we'll, we'll be out there again today and you know i definitely looking to break 250. all right so the car is on the ground pretty much ready to go they had to change out the rear gear set they're gonna get back out there. Let's hope that this is the one. Danger Dan! Yo! All right, you ready? But What's that? Bam! What's this? That is my Class B license. Oh, so, shit! Corey, if you look on the back there, see all the different categories starting at E. I was 174.9, and I did 175.4. So Eat your way in. 
peaked at right in there. So now we can go to 199, basically 200 mile an hour. Hell yeah. So, Congrats, nice bro. Yeah, man. That's, Hell yeah. That's a good weekend. All right, then. So now we got to make this pass. Hell yeah. So Dan's official now, apparently. And we got the last pass lined up. She's fired up. It's crazy. You can hear that thing start from a mile From a away. mile away, facing the other direction. Now we are at exactly a mile. Oh, uh, here we go, baby. He was ringing him out on that one. Oh, man. Let's see what the hell he ran. What? 239. 239? Man. Well. That's racing. That is racing. Dog. You guys want some chips? Nah, uh, we're good. Thank you, brother. Oh. Well, actually, now you put them there. <laughs> On many levels, tons of successes. Did the Big Red team accomplish the goal they wanted to? Well, not exactly. They did beat their own personal record at this track. Pretty sure that they actually set their own track record for their class. Regardless, either way, had a blast. Dan got a freaking <laughs> license. And uh, you know what? Met a lot of fun people along the way. Anyway. See you on the next episode of VHS. Salute all. Check it out, man. We're in outer <laughs> space. That's up there. We're up there. It was, but he got his He was the one that was starting it. It was kind of like, I didn't have that impression with him.